All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Valhelsia Fabric. Guys, today we're going to be getting into some power generation to hopefully get us off of coal power and onto something else, maybe a little bit more sustainable. There was some lightning out in the distance, but let's not worry too much about it. Uh, yeah, so I haven't done a whole lot off camera since I was with you guys, uh, but I did test out some of these over here. Interesting. Uh, these are resin basins. They uh, Once a, a, like a spot of resin pops up, uh, they will go ahead and harvest it. So uh, we've had, like, I've been AFK here for a bit. We've gotten quite a few of these guys. Um, see, like, it'll harvest that. Net. Because this doesn't have it on there, it won't uh, flow. Let's see if we can find one that's flowing. It'd be cool to have it on camera, maybe. Um, maybe... I guess not. Anyway, so we've gotten quite a few of these. I've been putting them into the industrial centrifuge, uh, which is pretty cool. So we've got uh, quite a few, over two stacks of this uh, generated. So we don't really need to worry about generating this app anymore. However, turning it into rubber uh, through the industrial centrifuge is a little bit difficult. Is that just rubber logs? If I put uh, one of these, it's one to three. Yeah, but this is clearly the best way, 4 to, to 14. That's clearly the way we want to go. Uh, and I just killed an Enderman and got four Ender Pros. Very nice. So, yeah. Uh, so, I wanted to test out a few things today, starting up with a thermal generator. Um, it runs off of lava, and it gives off 16 E per tick, which is uh, six more than one of these guys per tick. Uh, so if we had two of those running, I mean, we got way more than that. And I hear that the lava lasts a very long time. And you're probably wondering what this is. It's a quartz elevator um, from quartz elevators. So, yeah, we have a basement area here. Haven't really done a whole lot with it yet. We're definitely going to expand this quite a bit and actually go down quite further. Uh, but for the time being, we're not going to be focusing too much on that today. Uh, so we're going to be making the basic fluid tank uh, right away. Uh, we... Empty cells are easy, rubber's easy, but the basic storage unit is a little bit more challenging to make. Uh, we need to make another one of these guys, so we need to go kill some more of the squids. Is there any other way in this mod pack to create the black dye? Yes. Wither, well, there's, there's shadow plant. There's withered bone and ink sacks. Okay, so let's see. What can we make now? We can get some refined iron plates. Oh, we already got them. One, two, three. Okay, don't need to worry about those. Crude storage. Um, I believe I actually have a few of these remaining. Let's see if we can find them. Yes, I got six here. Perfect. That was easy. All right, so we got the two for that. So top this uh, basic machine frame. We can create one of these. I'd actually like to create two. Um, so let's grab a couple more. Oops, we just need 16. And then we're going to grab three more of these because I want to make two of the thermal generators. All right, so these are now in and good to go. Uh, yep, got to make four of those. All right, we got the four of those created there. And then now we just need to kill... Oh, we need a lot more plates. Actually, we just need two more of these guys to be smushed. All right, so while these are getting smushed up, I'm going to go kill some squids. So with the power of looting three, we have 21 ink sacks. That is right. I ended up getting looting three on the second sword that I enchanted. This is the enchant I got. Sharpness four, looting three, and breaking three is pretty cool. So we get to retire our other, our other tool. Uh, so let's go ahead here. We need to make two of these guys. Ah, so we actually need two more of those. Um, one, two, three. And then one, two. And then we should have the redstone. Yes, sir. Okay. Two more of those. Bam. Blam. Okay. So let's make six of these. Bam. Okay. So we are still missing one component. Ah, glass pane. What a pain. <laughs> okay. So there we go. We got the two that we need for those. Bam. So now... Oh. 
We need more plates. We need a total of six more reinforced iron plates. Whoopsies. Forgot to throw those in there as well. Oh well. I believe that's all we're waiting for. So let's hurry up and wait. All right, waiting complete. We have the reinforced iron plates. We can make two of these guys, which means we can make two basic tanks here. Um, this will give us, what is that? 70 buckets of storage. Uh, yeah, so we can go ahead and fill these up. So say we go to the nether, fill these up with a bunch of lava. Uh, and we, hold up, do we have anything? Um, you know what would be cool is if we could use the drain. Let me go test something out real quick. All right, this is what I wanted to test here. So we have our basic tank here. We can go to the configure fluids, push it out the bottom, and it will go right into the thermal generator and give us some power. Uh, so yeah, very cool. This generates... Uh, I don't know. Looks like six, yeah, 16 E per tick. So if we have a couple of these going, that's gonna be sweet. Go away, cow. All right, so the iron ingots, or invar ingots, I'm sorry, are complete here. I believe we need to turn these into plates. Yes, we need one, two, three, four, five. So we just need 10. Uh, so one, two, three. We'll have those get turned into those uh, into plates. We will go ahead and put those in there in case we need them again. All right, now we need to make some reinforced glass, which requires some lead. Plates. Okay, so how much? We just need one. That gives us seven. So we only need two of these plates. Is there any other way to get plates? Uh, oops, I hit recipe, not uses. Lead plate. Yeah, there's no way to get it other than the compressor here. So we're just going to have to wait for these guys to finish up, unfortunately. Okay, so I've been trying this out a few different ways, and unfortunately, the drain cannot pull anything out of a cauldron. Otherwise, I was going to try to use this, make a, like a massive farm for it, and then we would be swimming in the power, because then we just put the, the thermal generator down there. Uh, but unfortunately, it does not seem to work with a cauldron, which is very... Very uh, sad, but if you type in fluid or fluid, yeah, you just get the semi fluid generator and the fluid replicator. So, again, there's not a whole lot of supporting mods for this, so we're just gonna have to resort to filling this bad boy up. And this thing can uh, export directly into the, the generator, which is cool. All right, with the lead plates and the invar plates, I just remembered we're doing double for the lead. Well, anyway, we'll make one of these uh, while the lead plates are being smushed because they don't take very long. So, uh, thermal generator here. We just need a bit of glass. I should have some. Yep, there we go. There you are. All right, so reinforced glass. We just... Oh, we didn't need to make more of those because I forgot. We get seven of that out of that. Um, so now we just need two of the electric circuit thingamabobbers uh, So we can make those up. I should just make like a bulk amount of those All right, so here we go We'll just make four we don't want to go overkill right and then we need the generators So we're gonna be stealing these guys to make the generators um Yep, thermal generators. We just put these guys here. All right, so we have the thermal generators and we have the fluid tanks. So now it's time to go to the nether and fill up with some lava. 35 buckets full. That's crazy. All right, guys, so I actually just went down below and we're going to have to kind of change these up a little bit. Um, hmm, how do we want to do this? Maybe, because um, if we, if we put the tank right on top of it, we can't pull power out of the top. So these are a little different than before. Uh, shoot. Well, maybe this is time that we move down here and start putting our power generation here. 
we can fully do that. Pump out. So that's going. Pump out. So these are pushing out the bottom. Uh, we will grab... Actually, yeah, we'll grab power from the bottom here. So those things are going to be good. I'm going to start to deconstruct this monstrosity. Oops, where did my... Oh, I didn't realize those broke. I didn't realize these things had a durability. I grabbed Electrum, not, not Bronze. Huh. The more you know. Oh, I put it in here. I feel dumb. Yep. Okay, so with these broken, we can go ahead and move them down. We're going to move our blast furnace down there as well. Uh, but now we have some extra cable here. All right. Put the industrial centrifuge there. Industrial electrolyzer there. Let's go get some more of that high voltage cable. And we can actually make some more. Don't know why I did that. Okay. Check it out. Got a lot more. We won't get zapped by it either. Cool, cool. All right. Compressor, assembling machine, electric furnace, grinder, and the rolling machine. Bam. All there. I wish it would tell you, you know, how much you had left. Because um, it's already used quite a bit, but we filled this up a lot. So, yeah, these are generating 128, or sorry, 16 per. Uh, so, we're generating 32. That's great. <laughs> we're going to need quite a few of those, actually. Uh, but let's go ahead. We'll sleep real quick upstairs, and then we'll grab the blast furnace and put it uh, down there with it. I'm going to set it back into the wall so it looks kind of cool. Um, I've got an idea of what we can do to make it look a little cooler. And then we do have lava that's chilling in there, so we got to be careful. Need to grab another bucket real quick. And then, let's see, where did I put the gosh, I put the bucket? Oh, there it is. Then we can just build it down there. Who wants to die? Jeez, Louise, that creeper had a death wish. And then we'll probably end up using a little bit of the solar or the, the wind turbines just because they give us uh, power. But unfortunately, they don't give us a whole lot, uh, which is why we're switching to th the, the thermal generators. Out. Okay. So we got all those guys. Let's build up top here. This is going to take a minute. Oh no, we lost one. It's good. We got we got some backups. All right. So I'm going to be here mining away having a good day. I don't know. This is efficiency four, by the way. So it's not like like we're using a, a, a slow tool or anything. Like these are just really hard to break. Wish I would have known about that when I placed them. Oh well, it is what it is. All right, so we got the, the blast furnace moved into here. Uh, I actually have the cable running down one block and underneath 
this one, uh, if we break this one, I can show you guys. So see, that's where it's connected up. So it looks pretty good. Um, I was planning on doing something cool, like putting glass here and then putting something down at the bottom, uh, like a like a stone brick or something, kind of make it look like you know it's uniform and that's back there. Uh, so we'll leave that for now, but this thing is uh, definitely on and working. So that part is pretty much done. We, we're moved down here. We got our thermal generators. Um, yeah, so let's get the, the windmills kind of set up uh, just so they can start bringing in a little bit more power for us. All right, got 19 of these guys. Um, nah, I don't want to put it on the front of the, the house there. I think what would look actually kind of decent we to get some more of this, and we'll make like a little tower for them. We've only got three, so we can put them up at the top of the bit of the house. Um, yeah, let's get up there. So if we were to go like right here. And we need to make these guys. So bam, 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 like this. We go up a few blocks. So then we'll, we'll have to make uh, one more over there. And then we could go up a couple more blocks and then we'll put a roof on it. Kind of goofy looking. But I don't think it'll look too terrible. And we'll be able to get some power. Oh, some more power into the base. Uh, but it does mean we're going to have to run the cable down somewhere, which will be interesting. Okay, so we have our little tower created here for these guys. Uh, we need to run some uh, insulated cables through the middle. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. But it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's also giving us power that we don't have to really worry about too much. So I'm excited about that. Uh, it just continues to come in and we don't even have to touch it. So I'm looking here trying to figure out the best way to do this. I think we only use the insulated cables uh, when it's uh, in a spot that we can touch it. Um, other than that though, I think we just make some high voltage cables because we get a lot that way. So yeah, let's bring this down. Oh, we're not even, can't get that high. Okay. Um. I did this because we had an Enderman problem up here, and so I was killing him. If we can we do this, we can't do that. Oh, frick. Okay, so we can run part of the cable here. to branch up doesn't look too pretty okay but we got power to here now well we, we we can't touch this thing so we can do that um i guess we can try to hide it here means we can just run uh, these all the way over so now yep we're still getting power there we go all right so those are connected in they don't look it doesn't look very pretty uh, but this again won't be the final base hopefully um, there we go so we got power coming in from up top very ugly I know 
but we're gonna leave it for now. We're getting power from these guys, and we're getting power from this guy. So anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap up the episode for today. We, get, we did a lot for power generation today. Um, we will be working on something I have an idea of using bamboo, like a bamboo farm to uh, create a, an area uh, for some furnace generators. The only problem is uh, when you break bamboo um, in this mod pack, you get something called bamboo leaves. And so it means we're going to have to create an item filter just, just for bamboo. So I'm not too sure what we're going to do with that. Uh, we might we might do it. We might not but it's all gonna happen later on anyways guys Take care. Have a good one. Peace out. Bye -bye.